right there. It's already running. When I'm giving it to you, it's already running, so you don't have to really do much. Okay? Don't touch the buttons, baby. All right, sweet. Is the number is the numbers moving? I'm okay right here. Okay. I don't know. I'm okay. Okay. You got me? Okay. Oh. Shot. Okay. Uh, this is your brother, Akbar Yahoo. Once again, uh, on our unofficial tour. Now this is this is more official than you probably ever gonna get. Because uh, we're gonna talk about real things. So. What we're doing is actually a historical and a spiritual investigation today. Who would notice this memorial? But this is a memorial erected by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania in honor of her colored soldiers. What many people may not know, and some others may have forgotten, is that people of African descent have fought in every single war that has taken place pertaining to the United States of America. From the Revolutionary War, through the, the, the War of 1812, through the war, I mean, you name it, the French Indian War. Well, not the French Indian War, that was France and Indian. But every war, even at a time when you read uh, the Rome Bennett Jr.'s uh, epic epic historical book, uh, Beyond the Mayflower. This is required reading for every man, woman, and child walking the face of the planet Earth. I don't care what color you call yourself. But in that book, you read the history of what took place with the Revolutionary War now. This was a war that took place between what would become the United States of, Eng uh, of America and the uh, British uh, monarchy. Uh, King George at that time. What happened was, according to Lerone Bennett Jr., you found that the brothers and sisters, the black folk, that the men, they were very zealous in battle and very effective. And that in many instances, they were more apt to go to the fight and to the war than the white people who were going to actually be getting their liberty from the British monarchy, but in every single, I'll repeat that in case you missed it. According to Lerone Bennett Jr. in his epic uh, historical uh, scroll, Beyond the Mayflower, he tells us that the brothers and sisters who have fought in every major conflict, every minor conflict, every skirmish that the United States of America has involved in, been involved in, that they were more battle ready and prepared and ready to go to war to fight for a liberty that they would never partake of until at least 100 to 200 years so-called later with the signing of the uh, Civil Rights Act, uh, Civil Rights Act of 1965, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, in terms of that, I just have everyone really know and understand that Whatever the price is that needs to be paid, that price has been paid already in blood, sweat, and tears by men and women whose names we may never know. But you see now, you know, the situation, we got a brother here. This could be a former uh, uh, veteran of one of those wars. America has tended not to be very kind to those who have fought for it. Uh, not just people of African descent. So I'll close with this. Uh, Stevie Wonder's song, uh, you know, I like it the way he, he described. He said, they had me standing on the front line, but here today in 2013, they still standing in the back of the line when it comes to getting ahead. The lyrics go, they had me standing on the front line, but I still stand at the back of the line when it comes to getting ahead. Because when you talk about economic equality, when you talk about uh, uh, equality before the courts, when you talk about housing and employment equality, still, unfortunately, uh, African Americans as a uh, identifiable group, they lag too far behind after all of their contributions, all of our contributions that we have made to this nation. And 
many others like it. So, we remember at this particular time all of those who have fought and struggled wearing the various uniforms of a country that brought them here in slave ships, chains, and fetters. We remember and we show our love, respect, and our reverence unto them. The pages of history may never record their names, may never talk about what those individuals did, but when you think about that, if that doesn't hit you, touch you someplace, you, you definitely have a hole in your soul. So we remember those brothers and sisters who have fought and who have died, who have been maimed, who have been injured, who have lost arms, legs, amputees, so on and so forth, from before this country was established up until this very time today. Be good.